Hey, PC Games Girl here, and hello and welcome to part number six of my Let's Play of Dragon Age Inquisition. Alright, you guys, so we're going to head to Valroyo after we um, do some more table stuff. And I know Mother Giselle's over there, but I don't need to talk to her right now. But I will talk to her at some point later on. Okay. Now let's get ourselves in the war room. Okay. Now, Josie completed her operation. There we go. Okay. Have you had any trouble with them? Not at all. I will inform you if that changes. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Alrighty, and now let's go to Valroyo. And we're level four, so that'll work. Having the Herald address the clerics is not a terrible idea. You can't be serious. Mother Giselle isn't wrong. At the moment, the Chantry's only strength is that they are united in opinion. And we should ignore the danger to the Herald. Let's ask her. Well... I'm more concerned this won't actually solve any problems. I agree. It just lends credence to the idea that we should care what the Chantry says. I will go with her. Mother Giselle said she could provide us names. Use them. But why? This is nothing but a... What choice do we have, Liliana? Right now we can't approach anyone for help with the breach. Use what influence we have to call the clerics together. Once they are ready, we will see this through. Okay. And if you guys want to read that, feel free. And I'm going to confirm this. Oh, man. <laughs> Hopefully this loading screen won't be too terribly long. With any luck, anyway. <laughs> it's usually not too bad. Usually. Oh, goodness. Hmm, looks like it's getting pretty windy outdoors for me right now. Interesting. Find treasure maps on your adventures. Treasure maps use visual landmarks to guide you to valuables. Founding of the Chantry. Uh, whoever that was, things, uh, stuff happened. Yeah. <laughs> the color of a creature's rank icon displays its relative challenge compared to your character. Gray characters are easy, white are even, yellow and red are challenging. And so are orange, because I think that's what they meant by red. No, not really, actually, yeah. Did they mean yellow? I don't know. But the level 8 thing was orange, so I don't know what the heck it was talking about there. But, yeah, no. It's okay. Here's this, if you guys want to read it. Yay! Loading screen's over. Hopefully. Soon enough. Yay. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but I was just adjusting my headset, because it was kind of itchy for some reason. It's strange. Anyway. It's all good now. It's all good. <laughs> oh, goodness. Come on, game. Any day now. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. The city still mourns. Just a guest seeker, but I think they all know who we are. <laughs> Your skills of observation never fail to impress me, Varric. <laughs> My Lady Herald. You're one of Leliana's people. What have you found? The Chantry Mothers await you, but so do a great many Templars. There are Templars here? People seem to think the Templars will protect them from... from the Inquisition. They're gathering on the other side of the market. I think that's where the Templars intend to meet you. Only one thing to do, then. Oh, goodness. They wish to protect the people from us? Protect them from the blasphemous Herald of Andraste, I'd say. Surely they cannot think such a thing. Why not? They wouldn't be the only ones. 
You think the orders return to the fold, maybe? To deal with us upstarts? I know Lord Seeker Lucius. I can't imagine him coming to the Chantry's defense. Not after all that's occurred. Return to Haven. Someone will need to inform them if we are delayed. As you say, my lady. Oh, goodness. And I'm going to ignore most of those that say read on them because they don't really have anything of note or important. But this one does. This one is just plain strange and funny. <laughs> oh boy. There we go. Okay. Now let us go over here. Stand wary, guardsman. The Inquisition is here, along with the Herald of Andraste. Oh boy. Good people of Val Royo, hear me. Together, we mourn our divine. A naive and beautiful heart silenced by treachery. You wonder what will become of a murderer. Well, wonder no more. Behold, the so-called Herald of Andraste, claiming to rise where our beloved fell. We say this is a false prophet. The Maker would say no elf in our hour of need. Hey, now that's just mean. I made no such claim. I wasn't sent here by Andraste or the Maker. I am simply trying to close the breach. It threatens us all. It's true. The Inquisition seeks only to end this madness before it is too late. It is already too late. The Templars have returned to the Chantry. They will face this Inquisition and the people will be safe once more. Oh my gosh. Still yourself. She is beneath us. Oh my goodness. What's the meaning of this? Her claim to authority is an insult, much like your own. Ouch. Lord Seeker Lucius, it's imperative that we speak with... You will not address me. Double ouch. Lord Seeker? Creating a heretical movement. Raising up a puppet as Andraste's prophet. You should be ashamed. You should all be ashamed. The Templars failed no one when they left the Chantry to purge the mages. You are the ones who have failed. You who'd leash our righteous swords with doubt and fear. If you came to appeal to the Chantry, you are too late. The only destiny here that demands respect is mine. Dang. <gasps> if you're not here to help the Chantry, then you just came to make speeches. I came to see what frightens old women so, and to laugh. But Lord Seeker, what if she really was sent by the Maker? What if... You are called to a higher purpose. Do not question. I will make the Templar Order a power that stands alone against the Void. We deserve recognition. Independence. You have shown me nothing, and the Inquisition less than nothing. Templars, Val Royo is unworthy of our protection. We march. Good gravy. Well then. Charming fellow, isn't he? Has Lord Seeker Lucius gone mad? <laughs> Apparently. Do you know him very well? He took over the Seekers of Truth two years ago, after Lord Seeker Lambert's death. He was always a decent man, never given to ambition and grandstanding. This is very bizarre. It doesn't look like we'll be getting the Templars to help us after all. I wouldn't write them off so quickly. There must be those in the Order who see what he's become. Either way, we should first return to Haven and inform the others. 
Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. Ooh, and before I forget to, let's talk to this lady. Excuse me, but is what they're saying real? The Inquisition's going to fix the hole in the sky? That's what we're attempting, yes. No one is doing anything. The Chantry's useless, and the Templars, Andraste. I never thought they'd abandon us. Listen, your camp will need food. I have contacts. We'll have deliveries there in days. You want to help the Inquisition? Never been part of something this big before, but if your Inquisition's going to seal the sky, I want to help. What do you think, Cassandra? I think the woman is asking you and not me. Well, she is. The Herald of Andraste. Yes, I understand. <laughs> Haven is a mess, but we won't turn away anyone willing to help. Invite her, if it pleases you. Head to Haven, then. We need good people. I don't know if I'm that, but it will be nice to see. Thank you. You're welcome, lady. Yay, and we have some more power, and we have an agent, which will be very useful. Well, ah! What's that? An arrow with a message? Oh my god. That never ceases to terrify me every single time. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so we're gonna do this quest now. Because we're going to be getting a new friend in our little entourage of people who I can recruit to come with me on my adventures. Do do do. do. Eh. Excuse me. Let's talk to this guy. My maker, know my heart. Take from me a life of sorrow. Comfort is only yours to give. Oh, maker, where is the comfort? Look away. I have broken the chant because it comes from my heart. What have we when our divine is dead and the sky burns? We should question. If not now, when? Down that road is darkness. We have never been alone. We cannot be alone. But even our Templars forsake the light. Even they? Poor guy. Oh, goodness. The Templars? I believe that... Ma you are the Herald of Andraste, are you not? I have an invitation for you. Alrighty then. And we are going to answer that invitation as well, because doing those two quests, this one and the one that I just got there, will get us a couple more people. And those who have played this know who. <laughs> and for those who have not, I'm not going to spoil it. We maintain an Inquisition presence on Commander Cullen's orders. This has been received as you might expect. In other words, not well at all. Oh dear. The head of Madame Snippy Snaps. Or Snappy Snips, rather. I always get that wrong. Goodness. And you? Wonderful. <laughs> okay. Now we need to search by the dock and the upper market. Okay. Now that we searched the cafe. Okay. Let's go over this way. Over here, and we may as well talk to Revered Mother, whatever her name is, first. <laughs> oh dear. This victory must please you greatly, Sika Cassandra. We came here seeking only to speak with the mothers. This is not our doing, but yours. And you had no part in forcing our hand? Do not delude yourself. Now we have been shown up by our own Templars, in front of everyone. And my fellow clerics are scattered to the wind, along with their convictions. Just tell me one thing. If you do not believe you are the Maker's Chosen, then what are you? Someone who can help close the breach and end this madness. That is... more comforting than you might imagine. <laughs> I suppose it is out of our hands now. We shall all see what the Maker plans in the days to come. Oh, goodness. How many Templars turned on the Chantry, exactly? 
They rebelled across Thedas. Some remained loyal, but not enough to call them the Order. The White Spire here in the capital was the largest garrison, but now it stands empty. Perhaps more shall flock to the Lord Seeker's banner now. How far has faith waned, I wonder? You're obviously skeptical. What do you believe I am? Our Divine. Her Holiness is dead. I have seen evidence for everything, except what would comfort me. That doesn't answer my question. For you to be true, a great many things must be false. And if you are false, a great many things must have failed. There is chaos ahead, whatever your intentions. Okay. Uh. So what happens now? Will the Chantry continue to denounce me? <laughs> we have already done so. And what good has it done us? Now it falls on us to select a new divine, if we can. And leave the next step to her. Provided such a selection is even possible. I truly don't know. Any revered mother who could have followed Justinia died at the Conclave. What becomes of us? And your Inquisition is in the Maker's hands now. It's not too late. The Chantry could still help us and come out on top. If only that were true. What's to stop you from trying? We are not looking for a winning horse. We are simply trying to do the right thing. Oh, goodness. Okay, now. Let's go over here, examine that. I thought that had a codex entry. Apparently it does not. Lame. Alrighty. Ew. Gross. Okay. Now to try and not fall in the water and die. That would be great. Uh. Because this does have a codex entry. There we go. Phew. Eh. And so does this. Yay. Okay. Now let's find a way to the upper market. Let's see, it looks like there's a way over here. Yep, okay, cool. Let's go use this. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Blah, blah, blah. Alrighty, let's teleport over to there. Traveling. There we go. Awesomeness. Woo. Let's examine that. More codexes. Yay. Praise Andras. <laughs> or not even Andras Day, it's just Andras. <laughs> oh goodness, that's great. Alrighty. And now, we are going to go to this secluded courtyard. Okay. If I might have a moment of your time. Grand Enchanter Fiona? Leader of the Mage Rebellion. Is it not dangerous for you to be here? I heard of this gathering, and I wanted to see the fabled Herald of Andraste with my own eyes. If it's help with the breach you seek, perhaps you should look among your fellow mages. I'm surprised the leader of the mages wasn't at the Conclave. Yes. You were supposed to be, and yet somehow you avoided death. As did the Lord Seeker, you'll note. Both of us sent negotiators in our stead in case it was a trap. I won't pretend I'm not glad to live. I lost many dear friends that day. It disgusts me to think the Templars will get away with it. I'm hoping you won't let them. So you think the Templars are responsible? Why wouldn't she? Lucius hardly seems broken up over his losses, if he's concerned about them at all. You heard him. You think he wouldn't happily kill the Divine to turn people against us? So yes, I think he did it. More than I think you did it, at any rate. Well then. Does that mean the Mages will help us? We are willing to discuss it with the Inquisition at least. 
Consider this an invitation to Redcliffe. Come, meet with the mages. An alliance could help us both, after all. I hope to see you there. Au revoir, my Lady Herod. Already. Come, let us return to Haven. Well, we will return to Haven, but we've got a couple things to do first. Like going to that secluded courtyard I talked about. And also answering the invitation that that uh, courier dude gave me. Do, do, do. And in case anyone's curious, yes, I am going to have her uh, side with the mages. And she's going to... Oh, hey, speaking of mages, there you go. <laughs> and she is going to give them a full alliance. Do, 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 do. Just scrolling through this so you guys can read it if you wish. There you go. Yay. Alrighty. Let's hope that this loading screen does not take too terribly long. But I'm looking forward to this, guys. This should be fun. <laughs> it should be good. The Dispel and Spell Purge abilities instantly destroy demons that are in the process of spawning from a Fade Rift if the ability is used before the demons fully materialize. Fennec! Oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, this is hilarious. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, apparently she desperately wants one for a pet, whoever she is. Oh, goodness. All right, game, plop us in the courtyard, please. I want to get this show on the road. Come on, game. Come on. La 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 There we go. Something is fishy here. Ah! Well, they know who I was. Where'd you go? I went to place. Die, die, mercenaries, die. Die. Die, 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 okay, phew, they're all dead, now, to open this door, Errol the Vandraste, how much did you expend to discover me, it must have weakened the Inquisition immeasurably, I don't know who you are. You don't fool me. I'm too important for this to be an accident. My efforts will survive in victories against you elsewhere. <laughs> Just say what? What is that? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Ugh. Squishy one, but you heard me, right? Just say what? Rich tits always try for more than they deserve. <laughs> blah, blah, blah! Obey me. Arrow in my face. So, you followed the notes well enough. Glad to see you're... And you're an elf. Well, hope you're not... Too elfy. I mean, it's all good, isn't it? The important thing is, you glow. You're the herald thingy. Some believe I'm the herald of Andraste. But who are you, and what's this about? No idea. I don't know this idiot from manners. My people just said the Inquisition should look at him. Your people? Elves? <laughs> no. People, people. Name's Sarah. This is cover. Get round it. For the reinforcements. Don't worry. Someone tipped me their equipment shed. They've got no breaches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Why don't you take their weapons? Oh my god. Oh my. This is great. <laughs> oh dear. Friends really came through with that tip. No breaches. <laughs> so, Herald of Andraste. You're a strange one. 
I'd like to join. How about we get to know each other first? You know, names and such. One name. No, wait, two. It's... Well, it's like this. I sent you a note to look for hidden stuff by my friends. The friends of Red Jenny. That's me. Well, I'm one. So is a fence in Montfort, some woman in Kirkwall. There were three in Starkhaven, brothers or something. It's just a name, yeah? It lets little people, friends, be part of something while they stick it to nobles they hate. So here, in your face, I'm Sarah. The friends of Red Jenny are sort of out there. I use them to help you. Plus arrows. The Inquisition has spies already. Can you add to these professionals? Here's how it is. You important people are up here, shoving your cods around. Blah, blah, I'll crush you. I'll crush you. Mm -hmm. Ooh, crush you. <clears throat> then you've got cloaks and spy kings, like this tit. Or was he one of the little knives, all serious with his little knife? All those secrets, and what gave him up? Some houseboy who don't know shite, but knows a bad person when he sees one. So no, I'm not knifey shiv dark, all hidden. But if you don't listen down here too, you risk your breaches. Like those guards? I stole their... Look, do you need people or not? I want to get everything back to normal. Like you. Back there you wanted to know if I glowed. Why? That's what you do, innit? You walked out of somewhere and now you glow. Andraste's Herald. True or not, it seemed like the easiest way to know it was you. True or not? Well, that's what they say on all. Look, don't get ahead yet. I want to help this... whatever it is. Inquisition. <laughs> so who are your friends of Red Jenny? You must know them. Oh, it's not hard to understand if you're not trying to waste your day on it. Someone little always hates someone big. And unless you don't eat, sleep or piss, you're never far from someone little. Doesn't always work out, but a lot of people hated this guy. Someone got a laugh, someone got even, someone got paid. And someone has to have explained to them that free help is good. Alrighty. Alright, Sarah. I can use you and your friends. Yes! Getting good before you're too big to like. That'll keep your breaches where they should be. Plus extra breaches because I have all these... You have merchants who buy that piss, yeah? Got to be worth something. Anyway, Haven. See you there, Herald. This will be grand. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Alrighty, and now she is in our little group of people that I can bring with me on my adventures. Okay, but I don't want to bring her just yet. Instead, I'm going to gather this loot. Okay. Ooh, what's all in here? Okay. Get this. And that. And let's see if those guards without their breeches dropped any loot. Because I feel like they did. I don't know. Did they? Oh. Apparently there's some money up there. I'm going to go grab it really quick. And then I will head out. And we will go to the um, other place to get another person for our Inquisition band. Okay. Let's go here. Okay. And now. Now we go to there. And apparently we'll be back in the Hinterlands in the next part because I didn't realize that these cutscenes would be so long. <laughs> it's okay though. It's okay. The ram is a marvelous creature. Its wool makes the best lining for winter coats this side of the mountains. The horns and bones can be crushed into powder and mixed with the soil for a healthy crop or charred and ground into ink powder. The hide makes a good cover in a window against the winds. You can burn the dung in a pinch, melt down its fat for candles. I haven't even mentioned the meat. With a full-grown ram, you could make a stew big enough for a village and have enough left over for a week. So there'll be no more complaining about being paid in sheep for your work during the harvest. With that ram and a few ewes, something, something, something or other, something or other, yeah, uh, rams are useful, yes, quite. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Those poor sheepies, may they rest in peace. <coughs> uh, oh, dear. 
Any day now, game. It's playing interesting music, at least. So that's cool. Lady Lavellan, on behalf of the Inquisition. What a pleasure to meet you, my lady. Seeing the same faces at every event becomes so tiresome. So you must be a guest of Madame de Fer. Or are you here for Duke Bastien? Are you here on business? I have heard the most curious tales of you. I cannot imagine half of them are true. <laughs> What have you heard about me? Some say that when the veil opened, Andraste herself delivered you from the Fade. Some of those storytellers may have gotten carried away. But only for the best effect. The Inquisition is a ripe subject for wild tales. The Inquisition. What a lot of pig shit. Uh-huh. Washed up sisters and crazed seekers. No one can take them seriously. Well then. Everyone knows it's just an excuse for a bunch of political outcasts to grab power. Well, apparently he does not like us. The Inquisition is working to restore peace and order to Thedas. Here comes the outsider. Restoring peace with an army. We know what your Inquisition truly is. If you were a woman of honor, You'd step outside and answer the charges. My dear Marquis, how unkind of you to use such language in my house to my guests. <laughs> oh, snap. You know such rudeness is intolerable. Uh, Madame Vivienne, I humbly beg your pardon. You should. Whatever am I going to do with you, my dear? <laughs> my lady, you're the wounded party in this unfortunate affair. What would you have me do with this foolish, foolish man? Well, I think the Marquis has seen the error of his ways. By the grace of Andraste, you have your life, my dear. Do be more careful <laughs> with it. <laughs> oh, snap. I'm delighted you could attend this little gathering. I've so wanted to meet you. Oh, have you? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Vivienne, first enchanter of Mont Simard, an enchantress to the Imperial Court. Is that Marquis going to pose a problem? His aunt is the Vicomtesse of Mont de Glace. Not a powerful family, but well respected and very devout. Alphonse will be disowned for this. It's not the first time he's brought his aunt disgrace, but I'm sure it'll be the last. And after such a public humiliation, I expect he'll run off to the Dales to join the Empress's war effort. Either to make a good end or to win back a modicum of self-respect. <laughs> Your salon has certainly exceeded my expectations so far. I'm glad to keep you entertained, my dear. I wanted to meet face to face. It is important to consider one's connections carefully. With Divine Justinia dead, the Chantry is in shambles. Only the Inquisition might restore sanity and order to our frightened people. As the leader of the last loyal mages of Thedas, I feel it only right that I lend my assistance to your cause. You say you led the last of the loyal mages. Loyal to whom? To the people of Thedas, of course. We have not forgotten the commandment, as some have, that magic exists to serve man. I support any effort to restore such order. Well then. What's in this for you? The same thing anyone gets by fighting this chaos. The chance to meet my enemy, to decide my fate. I won't wait quietly for destruction. <laughs> Are you devout? What's your opinion of the Chantry? I was a great admirer of the late divine Justinia V. The Chantry, at its best, unites the disparate cultures of Thedas and looks after its most vulnerable. Had she lived, Justinia could have accomplished so much. You are aware that the Chantry hasn't sanctioned this Inquisition? 
The Chantry is leaderless. They're in no position to officially sanction anything. Besides, my dear, if there is one virtue the Chant of Light teaches us, it is forgiveness. Once the Inquisition has sealed the breach, I'm sure the new Divine will not care in the slightest about official permission. <laughs> what exactly can you do for the Inquisition? I am well versed in the politics of the Orlesian Empire. I know every member of the Imperial Court personally. I have all the resources remaining to the Circle at my disposal. And I'm a mage of no small talent. Will that do? I suppose so. The Inquisition will be happy to have you, Lady Vivian. Great things are beginning, my dear. I can promise you that. Oh, goodness. And now it's going to take us directly back to Haven. And I let her into the Inquisition, even though pretty much everything she stands for is against what I'm going to do with my Inquisition. <laughs> well, not everything, but she's not going to like most of my decisions. I'm just saying that now, because uh, it's, it's the truth. <laughs> uh, oh, goodness. But, yeah. It's just going to stick us back in Haven, I think. Red Lyrium, to answer your question, my lord, yes, I have indeed heard of this Red Lyrium of which you speak. A single piece of it surfaced in the eastern city of Kirkwall, and its influence alone was nearly enough to cause the city's destruction. As near as we can determine, it is regular Lyrium that has been somehow corrupted. Those who have touched Red Lyrium, or even come near it, report that it sings to them, like whispers in the mind that slowly drive them mad. We do not know, however, what might, what might stem from extended contact with Red Lyrium. Madlish, madness, surely, but something, something, something or other, Red Lyrium is a terrible thing. <laughs> oh, goodness. And as soon as we're back in Haven, as long as it doesn't trigger some cutscene or something without my permission, which, actually, I think it will. I think it will trigger a cutscene soon, but we'll do that in the next part, because this part is already quite long. So yeah, I'm going to be ending this part here. I hope that you all enjoyed it. Please be sure to give this video a like and to subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so, and I will be seeing you all in the next video where we are going to talk to some peoples around Haven, including the new people we just recruited, and we are also going to head back to the Hinterlands, so yeah. Bye! <clears throat> Not sure what my voice did there, but yeah. <laughs> Bye, guys!